Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefined Horizons and On Point Workshops. And in this video, we are going to work a few of the problems that were on our practice CST LSIT problem set for March 2023, or sorry, it'd be February 2023. We had the meeting in the first part of March. So these are the uh, questions that we're going over every other month at our uh, CLSA. California Land Surveyors Association Central Valley chapter. So at our February meeting, which took place the first week in March, uh, we went through the answers to all 25 questions. But the last 10 questions were all related to a diagram. Sorry, diagram. Diagram number one. Um, and I uh, told folks at the meeting that I would work a few of those problems on the whiteboard uh, so that you guys could actually see the math. Okay, so. And uh, we, 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 we might make a habit of this. So uh, I think in the sample exams, the last 10 questions will regularly relate to a diagram. And then I may do some, some separate whiteboard videos to, to help you guys uh, see how to solve those. So, um, so this particular uh, set of 10 problems related to diagram number one, um, test your uh, ability to do uh, some simple coordinate geometry calculations uh, to right triangle, trig, and you know, so work with Pythagorean's theorem. And, and the questions are going to ask you to convert either from northing and eastings to stations along an alignment, station offsets, or from station offsets to northing and eastings. That's what the 10 questions do. And so the diagram shows a little sample uh, proposed storm drain system along a 40-foot road. And uh, it asks you to calculate uh, either coordinates or station offsets for different elements of the storm drain system. So we're going to, we're going to work at least the first three or four of those problems. So let me, let me get over there. We're just going to work them together on the whiteboard. So if you watch the other video where, where we go through all 25 questions, the answers are, are there. Uh, but more, more importantly than the exact answers we're going to get in this video is just making sure that you guys um, understand the product. Okay, not the product, sorry, the process. <clears throat> okay, so here's the, the problem setup. So this is for questions 17 to 25. It says you've been, at, uh, you've been tasked with construction layout calculations for a new storm drain system being built along a new access road. The construction plans for the storm drain system are shown in diagram one. So make sure you have diagram one up that PDF while you're watching this video. Use the information in the diagram to answer the following questions. Okay, so the very first question related to the diagram, number 17, Ask us to solve for the station of storm drain maintenance hole number 12. Okay, so let's draw a little picture here so we can see what we've got. Okay, so we've got something that looks like this. There's three manholes in a row here, and we made the problem fairly simple because they're all on a straight line. Okay, so this is uh, manhole number 11 or maintenance hole number 11. We're supposed to call them maintenance holes now, but I'm just old, so you may hear me slip and call them manholes. This is maintenance hole number 12. Okay, and this is uh, maintenance hole number 13. Okay, and what they're asking us to calculate in question 17 is the station for this manhole. Okay. Now they give us the northings and eastings for all three of these manholes. Okay. So the way we're going to solve this problem, so we've got the, the northing and eastings here for these three, okay, and they give us the station for manhole 11. So let's just write that down here. We're going to write it in a different color. We'll put it in blue. So the station at manhole 11 is 3 plus 52.2 and it's five feet, the offset is five foot to the left of the alignment. Okay, so the alignment is over here, five feet. Okay, and this is not drawn to scale. <clears throat> okay, so they give us the station for the manhole, which you gotta remember is actually over here on the center line alignment. So if you were to draw a line over here from the center line alignment to the manhole, that's gonna be, it's the manhole station is calculated at the center line of the alignment, okay? So that's the station, three plus 52, 12. Okay, we wanna know what is the station for manhole 12. Okay, so to, in order to figure that out, we have to solve for this distance here along 
the alignment between manhole 11 and manhole 12. Okay, so if you if you were in CAD, you can imagine if you do two lines perpendicular from the manholes over to the center line alignment, we need to know what is this distance x. Okay, once we know that distance x, we can add it to the station for manhole 11 and calculate the station at manhole 12. Okay, so how are we going to come up with this distance x? We are going to use right triangle trig to do that. Okay, because we have the northing and eastings for all three of these manholes. So what that means is we can put a right triangle in here. Okay, and we can calculate this change in northing over here. This pin isn't working super good, sorry. Change in northing over here and change in easting up here. Once we know the change in northing and change in easting, we can use Pythagorean's theorem to figure out this distance. Okay, by the way, this distance is going to be the same as this distance. Okay, and the rules of geometry. Those distances will be the same. So then we'll have, when we solve for this distance here, we're also solving for that distance x along the alignment in this case. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve for our change in northing, change in easting. Okay, and I'm actually going to, I'm going to just erase this so you guys can see the triangle a little better. Erase that label. So here's the triangle that we're trying to solve, the right triangle. Okay. And what I would always encourage you guys to do in these problems like this, and you're going to get a lot of these on your, you know, and I shouldn't say a lot, but you will have these kind of problems on your CST and your LSAT, is draw some right triangles. Figure out where you can draw right triangles. Okay, that's going to help you solve the problem. So... Let's look at, um, we'll do our change in northing first, okay? So, um, and you can just set this up in a table if you want. I'm gonna get a different pen because this pen's really not working very good. That marker's not working very good. We'll go with red. Okay, so we'll just set up a table here. So this is manhole 11, okay? And we want the northing here. Okay, so the northing at manhole 11 is 219.9545.24. Okay, and then at manhole 12, our northing is 219.9. Five ninety point nine one. Now, I always try and teach my folks, you know, you always want to gut check this as you're going through it. So look, this northing is a little bit, the northing for 12 is a little bit larger than the, the northing for manhole 11. If you look at the diagram, north is this way. That's what we would expect, right? That, that helps you make sure you didn't grab a, the, the wrong number off the table on the diagram. Okay, so let's calculate our change in northing there. Okay, I'm just going to try and do this math in my head. Okay, so that's going to be 12, 3, 4, um, and let's see, that's going to be 5, 5, oh man. Okay, I think it's 54.33 feet, but let me check it with my calculator because I'm a little nervous. So we've got uh, 2199, 9545.24 minus 2199, uh, so hold on, I got a typo in here somewhere, 590.91. Okay, hang on, I got an extra 9 in one of my numbers. So let me fix that. Two one nine nine four five point two four minus two one nine nine five ninety point nine one.
Okay, so my math is wrong. Sorry, because I wrote one of these numbers down wrong. So let me uh, let me rewrite this for you guys. Okay, so we got two one nine nine five four five point two four. So I just want you guys to see. You can ignore. You can ignore these numbers are the same, right? We've got state plane coordinates here. The first four digits can get ignored, right? So we really want to know what's the difference between 545.24 and 590.91, okay? And the answer is a negative 4567. Okay, now it's negative because in this case, the northing for manhole 12 is larger than the, the, the northing for manhole 11. Okay, we don't care. All we want to know is what is the length of that side. So we can ignore the no we can ignore the negative and just take the absolute value. So we want 45.67. That's the change in northing between the two manholes. Okay, now let's do the easting. Okay, manhole 11, manhole 12. Okay, so the northing they give us for man or the easting they give us for manhole 11 is 63 3 one zero three eight point seven zero okay and the easting they give us for manhole 12 is six three three one one eight seven point four four okay and we want to know what's the change in the easting so we're going to subtract one from the other again we've got state plane coordinates here so you can see the first three digits are the same right so we can just ignore the first three digits here if we want. Okay, so let's go ahead and type in that. I'm gonna use my calculator so I don't make a mistake. So we got 103870 minus 1187.44. Okay, so we get negative 14874. Okay. Okay, it's a negative number because this easting for manhole 12 is bigger than the easting for manhole 11. Okay, we're moving east there, so we would expect that easting to get bigger. Again, we don't care. We're just trying to solve the right triangle. We can ignore the negative sign. So that change in easting from manhole 11 to manhole 12 is 148.74. Okay, these are feet, by the way. <clears throat> okay, so now we have our two numbers here, our two sides of our right triangle the shorter sides, we can figure out our hypotenuse, okay, which is that distance we want x. And to do that, we're going to use Pythagorean's theorem, okay, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, okay. So Pythagorean's theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, okay. Or another way to say that is if you square the two shorter sides of the triangle and add them together, they, they're equal to the square of the longer side, the hypotenuse. Okay, now we are trying to solve for the hypotenuse, Okay, so C, if you do your algebra, C, the length of the hypotenuse is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that math. Okay, so we're going to take uh, A, we'll call A 4567. Okay, so we're going to square that. So 4567 times 45.67, okay, is 2085. 2085, okay, point, we're going to carry this out to three decimals, 749, okay, okay, so that's A squared right there, guys, okay, that's the first part, okay, we're going to call this side B, so we're going to square that, 148.74, so 148.74 times 148.74, Okay, so we get 22,123. Okay, 588 to three decimal places, 588. Okay, that is equal to B squared. Okay, so now we have A squared and B squared. We want to add those two numbers together. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to add that, add those two together. Okay, and we're going to get a big number. It's 24,209. Okay, and I just, I want to write all these numbers out so you guys could, if you're working with this, working this with me step by step, 
you can you can see all the numbers. Okay. So this number right here is the sum of a squared and b squared. We want to take the square root of that. That'll give us the value we're looking for, c, which is the hypotenuse of that right triangle. Okay, so let me toggle my calculator over here so I can do that. Okay, so we're going to take the square root of 2, 4, 209.367. Okay, and the answer I get is 155. 59. Okay, 155, 59. That's in feet. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so now we have this distance x, okay, or c. C is x, right? Okay, c is the same distance as x there. Okay, and we know this station for manhole 11. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm going to erase this and we'll write, we'll do the math with the station. Okay, so we have 3 plus 52, 12. Now, the way you write that when you're going to do the math is you just write 352.12, okay? So the plus would go here. We're just going to get rid of the plus because it makes the math easier. Then we're going to add 155.59, right? We know the station here. We're adding X to get this station, okay? And I'll do that math on my calculator so I don't make a mistake. So 352.12 plus... 155.59, okay, is 507.71, okay? Now, to figure out the station, you got to put your plus back in, so it's 5 plus 0, 07.71, okay? That is the station for manhole 12, okay? And I, I got pretty close. I'm within the, the, the distance I got off the CAD drawing was uh, 5 plus 0, 0.7.72, Okay, so we're within a hundredth. Good enough for the for the girls we dance with, right? Or the boys we dance with, either one. Okay, so that's how you solve for the station at manhole 12, right? Just a simple right triangle problem with Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so that's great.